Rich Sutter have scored for the Blues here at Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, but after two periods, the Blues trail the Maple Leafs 5-2. to two. All season, we have talked about Rick Mahar and his return. It is getting closer. Rick is standing by with John Kelly. He is indeed Ken Wilson, and uh, Rick, not a very good night tonight for the Blues, though, so far. Oh, they're a little tired. They played a lot of hockey. We got some guys out there, Scott Stevens and Harold Schnapps, that played uh, 35 to 40 minutes of hockey last night. And uh, they're a little tired. And, and, you know, I'm not just those two, but everybody seemed to be a little tired tonight. Uh, the jump's not there. We come out first, scored the first goal. I thought maybe we'd be on our way. But uh, they stormed back and played pretty well in the first period. I thought the Blues in that second period got their game together a bit and uh, started to take the play away from Toronto. A little bit. They, they played a lot better than they did in the first. They weren't giving up. Uh, Toronto were coming at us with four players, and, and it was tough to defend their own end, especially the skate. they were skating 100 miles an hour, and they were getting some breaks. But every goal that you saw tonight that Toronto scored, except for the tip-in, have all been on the ice, and, and Curtis has had the puck, but it's kind of it slid under him somehow. It's gone in the net. Rick, it seems like the last two nights the Blues have had stretches, say, eight or nine minutes, where they just get hemmed in their own end. Why is that? Well, I think, first of all, you have to look at some of the dump-ins. When another team dumps a puck into high off the glass or it's bouncing, it's the hardest play in hockey to do. You can control the puck and get it up to your wingers. And I think that for us to be successful, we have to do the same things. And uh, the, the reason we're getting hemmed in is because the puck is bouncing and we're not holding wingers up like we should maybe and not giving our defense enough time to get the puck to the wingers. Rick, was there disappointment last night after the tie in Chicago when you did have the 5-3 lead? Yeah, the guys were pretty upset about it. They knew that uh, we had the game pretty much in the bag after the first period. And uh, maybe they looked at the 3-0 lead and decided, you know, that if we sit back and bar the door, we might win this, this hockey game. Uh, Chicago come back, and, and up until the 10-minute mark of the third period, we really dominated that hockey game. And then they got one goal, the crowd got behind them, and they played a lot better. But uh, there was a lot of disappointed faces, uh, you know, on that uh, the charter flight here last night and, and on the bus to the hotel. But, uh, you know, the guy's got to play a little better in the third period, and I think we'll be all right. I mean, it's, a lot, it's three goals to make up, but uh, we should do okay. Rick, when will we see you back in the lineup? Well, we're looking maybe a week or two. Uh, you know, we're looking at the 3rd of uh, January against Quebec or the 5th against the Rangers. Uh, I feel real good. I, you know, my leg is strong enough, and, and I'm having a little uh, maybe tendonitis, but nothing I can't live with. And I feel strong and keeping up to some of these guys, and, and uh, hopefully it'll be in a week. Now that you're getting closer, is uh, the itch getting greater? Yeah, I'm getting more nervous every day. Uh, you know, it, it, I really want to get back at it. Now I'm going to have to start sitting down lower to the ice and, and getting a feel of how the game is played down there. I've been sitting in the press box now since the start of the year, and the game is so easy to do a, uh, to look at from up there. So i got to sit down a little closer, go do some warm-ups with the team before games, and, and uh, get, get a little more involved in the game. Well, we look forward to your return, and uh, we thank you for stopping by tonight. Thanks, John. My pleasure. Well, this is Captain Rick Mahar, our guest, and now let's go back to Ken Wilson. All right, John Kelly, we all look forward to the return of Rick Mahar. We'll be back at Maple Leaf Gardens in the not-too-distant future where the Blues are trailing the Maple Leafs 5-2. to two. This is St. Louis Blues Hockey. Now stay tuned for Bob Ramsey and the Bud Light Sports Break coming right up.